Don, uh, uh, on a three-game slide here, but uh, got a game at Nevada coming up here on Saturday. Uh, just talk a little bit about that. Well, obviously a very tough game uh, against uh, one of the best teams in the conference, as, as they showed. Uh, you know, even though they lost last night, you saw on ESPN how, how good they were and, and how talented they are. I think they've got two of the – Premier players in the in the conference and Luke Babbitt and Armand Johnson are as, are as good as as you will see and both being a junior and a senior and both will definitely play after college and and probably at the highest level after college so very good basketball team very well coached and and if you look at the WAC um, the tradition of the WAC and how long Nevada's been in the WAC their winning percentage at home during WAC conference I think they've only lost eight total games in 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 six or seven years in the WAC conference so obviously a very Tough challenge for the Vandals this week. One of those losses that they uh, suffered, though, was last year yep. at the hands of your guys. What does that do mentally uh, to your team? Well, I think it's it, it helps us. Uh, you know, I know that our guys believe they can go down there and, and compete and compete at a high level. Uh, you know, we were very fortunate to go in there last year, made a bunch of shots, played played really, really good. But but I think our guys know that they can go down there and, and compete. Uh, so I know all of our guys are looking forward to it. You know, we're just trying to keep a good positive mindset and keep grinding away and, and trying to just clean up all the executional things we can. And so when we get another opportunity to win a close game, we'll, we'll come out on top this time. Is that the, the sort of the, the angle right now, not so much trying to throw everything out and start all over again, but, but, but clean up what's the little things? Yeah, I, one thing, you know, as I told the, the players, is you don't want to panic. I mean, we've lost three games by 12 points. Uh, the system that we want has been been proven uh, that that it can win in this conference. Uh, it's sound. It's won in this conference uh, uh, for a long time. Uh, the next thing is is we've proven that we can win in this conference if we execute and do the things that we need to do. And and for whatever reason, you look back at our games that we've that we we've gotten beat in. We've either missed free throws or, or turned the ball over too much or did some very basic fundamental things that you have to do to win close basketball games. It's not only in the whack, it's it's all of college basketball. It's, it's what it is. It's the game of basketball. And if you don't execute the fundamentals of making some free throws and taking care of your ball and, and blocking the opponent out, you're going to get beat. And if you look at the start of the whack overall, um, there's really a lot of surprising things going on. I mean, you got Fresno State at three and zero. You got Boise State at zero and four. Yeah, and and you know what? I, I think that's this, that's what we have this year in the conference. It's it's there's a it's good from top to bottom. Uh, you know, Fresno State's been fortunate. They've had three home games, but you got to give them credit. They've taken care of their home home cooking. Uh, you know, and and some other teams have been on the road. Uh, Utah State's two and two, but been on the road for three. Uh, you know, and and so. But it's, I think it's anybody can beat any, anybody on any given night. And I think the team that hangs with it and, and keeps plugging along and, and uh, you know, gets on a little bit of a roll as we head to the month of February, uh, we were the team that comes out on top. What are the keys uh, on Saturday night? Well, there's huge keys on Saturday night. You know, Nevada's one of the leading uh, scoring teams in the conference. So first and foremost, you have to stop their transition game. Uh, number two is is that Babbitt, uh, Luke Babbitt gets 24 points a game. You have to do a job on him. And Armand Johnson uh, gets about 13, 14, 15, somewhere around there, depending on league or overall stats. Uh, so uh, you have to you have to slow those those two guys down. And then they're plus six on the board, so you have to rebound your ball. So it sounds like a broken record, same old thing, night after night. But but that's kind of what Nevada gets done, is they score their ball, they rebound their ball, and, and they've got two uh, marquee players. It seems like the teams that have done well against them have been the ones that have played down the stretch because, perhaps because of their lack of depth on the bench. No question. Uh, that's got to be a key. Uh, we've got to get in there and, and play good, solid defense. We've got to push the tempo, hopefully wear them down a little bit. Uh, but, yeah, they they really only go about six, seven deep at, at most, and and uh, that is that is the teams that have been able to do it, has been able to ha- hang on and then play very good going down the stretch. 